Hi there, I'm Robin Chapra. It's lovely to see you. Um, you're in my kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit disappointing, I know. We should have been out there, Ross and I, filming the wonderful villages of the Cotswolds over the last 10 days or so. Indeed, that was certainly our plan. The weather has been so extraordinary that Ross and I have found it quite impossible to find a moment when we could be together. Uh, we live about 35 miles apart and, um, and finding moments when we can is always difficult. But when it's raining most of the time and the winds are blowing at about 70 miles an hour, it's become a problem. So this has not been a good 10 days for us, I'm afraid, on the filming front. So what I'm doing here, I, I don't know whether why I'm uh, introducing you to this, but here I am sitting here planning what we're going to be doing over the next few months. It's good fun, this, because... I get to read about small places I uh, don't know about and uh, research the history of these lovely places. Now, uh, as you know, we've been following um, Herbert Evans around the Cotswolds for quite some time. We've come to the end, really, of his book. Uh, he visited the most sort of obvious places, the wonderful, famous villages. We um, now need to find much smaller and more beautiful places, just as beautiful places to, to go and visit. And we've been looking up the great gems. We were supposed this week to be in a village called Ablington, just outside Bybury. Ablington is extremely important, actually, because there's a book, a rather wonderful book, called A Cotswold Village. This is my copy, uh, written by a man called J.A. Gibbs. And uh, he lived in this little village of Abington, and he wrote this book called The Cotswold Village uh, in a, before the turn of the 20th century, so in the 1890s. And um, it's a classic about the Cotswolds. Uh, let me read you a little bit about what he says about this um, extraordinary village. How well I remember the first time I came upon it. One fine September evening, having left all traces of railways and the ancient Roman town of Sarancester some seven long miles behind me, with wearied limbs I sought this quiet, sequestered spot. Suddenly, as I was wondering how amid all these never-ending hills there could be such a place as I'd been told existed, I beheld it at my feet, surpassing beautiful. Below me was a small village nestling amid a wealth of stately trees. The hand of man seemed in some bygone time to have done all that was necessary to render the place habitable, but no more. There were cottages, bridges and farm buildings, but all were ivy-clad and time-worn. The very trees themselves appeared to be laden with a mantle of ivy that was more than they could bear. It's a wonderful taste of what this book is like. It's, it's, uh, it's old-fashioned writing, but it's wonderfully descriptive. And we're going to go there to see if we can see any kind of semblance of what it is he saw on that first occasion. He lived there for many years in the manor house. Uh, he built a lovely garden. It has recently been hugely restored and is apparently glorious. Well, we may not be able to get to see it, but we'll certainly try. After that, we're going to look at other little villages around, places like East Leach Martin and Shipton under Witchwood, which is a beautiful place. And I drive through it quite regularly and I've never really stopped to have a look, but it has an extraordinary abbey in it. Uh, Broad Camden, uh, Long Compton. It's these wonderful names that uh, conjure up such beauty. And we're going to have a really wonderful time. I have 25 villages that I want to visit, all within the centre of the Cotswolds, uh, over the next few months. Uh, and I hope you will come with us. Uh, meantime, I apologise once again for the fact that this Sunday we don't have a village film to show you. Um, but uh, I imagine that when I send this to Ross, he will... Uh, tag on some beautiful footage, perhaps some aerial footage that we've shot in the past. And we, weather permitting, will see you next week. Bye-bye.